Hello, my name's Mark from G Code Tutor, and I'm here today with Practical Machinist to talk about M codes that are universal across all CNC machines. So this is a list of M codes that we're going to be discussing during this video. So we're going to look at each one and look at them in a program to see how they work. Okay, so let's take a look at the first slide. This is the program that we have our M codes in. Now I wouldn't suggest that you type this program into your machine. I wrote it very quickly just to describe these M codes. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we have here. So I'm gonna start off talking about M00, and now this is our program stop M code. So what this does, when the machine reads this M code, it stops, it allows us to open the door, check the part, and carry on once we've hit cycle start. So this M code is very useful if we need to, say, stop the machine to add cutting compound to a tap, or maybe we need to check a part each time we run the machine for a critical dimension, such as a bore. So where do we place this M00 M code? Well, I normally add it to the end of a sequence instead of an optional stop. Now, talking about optional stop, we have an optional stop M code, which is M01, and this can be shortened to M1. So our M01 M code will allow us to stop the machine if we require by pushing the optional stop button on our controls. It works the same way as our program stop, the M00, but we can turn the option on and off on the button on our controls. So we don't always have to stop the program at that point if we don't wish. Now this would normally be used for again after each sequence, just so we can stop the machine, check the sequence, make sure the dimensions are correct, and then hit cycle start to carry on with the next sequence. So if we have a problem bore, for example, that's not maintaining size, we can add an optional stop after that sequence so we can check the bore if we wish. So these next three M codes are all very much related and these all work on both a lathe and a miller machine, by the way. So MO3 would turn our spindle on in a clockwise direction. Now this could be the spindle of a lathe or it could be the spindle of a miller machine. So this is our directional M code to start our spindle. And if we wish our spindle to rotate in the opposite direction, which quite often we do on a lathe, depending on the orientation of our tooling, we would use M04. Now this starts our spindle in a counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Now to stop our spindles, we would use M05. Now this just turns our spindle off applies the brake and stops it from rotating. So we would do this before the end of the sequence so we can open the doors and check our parts if need be without a live spindle there. So the next M code I wish to talk about is M06. This is our tool change M code. So once we've told the machine what tool we are using, we would use M06 to perform a tool change. Now on a CNC lathe, this would rotate the turret and bring the tool we've called into position ready to cut. Or on a CNC mill, it would perform a tool change from the carousel and put a new cutter into our spindle for us. So once we've declared what that tool is, we then perform the actual tool change by using the M06 M code. Now when machining, we need to keep things cool. We have to use coolant, not just to remove the heat from the tool, but it also helps lubricate our cutter to ensure that we have a nice smooth cut and a good finish. So to turn on the coolant, we use M08. Now a lot of machines have different coolant systems. We may have spray coolant, mist coolant, uh, through spindle coolant, for example. Now all of these have different M codes, but one M code all machines have in common is the M08. Now this turns on the coolant. Now often that could be all the coolant. It depends on the machine's setup. And of course the opposite of M08 is M09. Now this turns off all the coolant in the machine. It turns off all the coolant pumps, whether it's through spindle, whether it's uh, through tooling or overhead coolant. And the final M code, one we use at the end of the program, is M30. Now M30 stops the program and it rewinds it back to the start, where it doesn't actually rewind the program anymore because it's not a physical tape, but it does take us back to the start of the program and it will continue running from there if we have continuous cycle on. 
Now, a continuous cycle is a feature that we find on CNC lathes. As it reaches the end of the program, it would rewind back to the start, and if we have continuous cycle selected, it will start reading that program again. Of course, on a milling machine, we would need to load a new billet at this point so the cycle does not continue. So these slides are from my foundation course. This is an introduction to CNC programming using G-Code. And you can find out more about this course over on my website. Now it's mainly focused on CNC milling machines, but we also use it to learn the basics of CNC turning as well. And then once you've completed a foundation course, you can choose your path, whether you go milling or turning within the course. So for more on this subject, pop over to my website, gcodetutor.com, where I have a lot of free articles and some paid courses, which these slides came from.